Hi, welcome to FMG CBT1 Microbiology Discussion. First question, disposal of syringe after BCG vaccination and removed implant. Always we have a question like this. First one, disposal of syringe after vaccination. Syringes are metals, sharps. They are discarded in white, what color bin? White bin. Any removed implant, remember BBB, broken glass, broken ampules and body implants, go to blue color. Blue color for body implants, broken glass vas. So the answer is white and blue just search first you get the answer here then you search if it is there it is 100 percent right that's a criteria okay where is white white is there and blue is there direct option they're not confusing you not blue and white it will confuse you white and blue first one is white another one is blue biomedical waste it's very important blue color for body implants and broken glass white color sharp metals needles scalpel blade like that red color for infected plastics all others put yellow color animal carcasses anatomical waste expired drugs microbiological wastes all goes to linen cotton everything goes to yellow color blood bag next is after a bioterrorism attack the army of great egyptian pharaoh trunkman got descending flaccid paralysis Number one, it is a bioterrorism agent. That's the first clue. Number two, descending flaccid paralysis. The agent which causing descending flaccid paralysis is the toxin is botulinum toxin. Botulinum toxin causes because it inhibit the release of acetylcholine. It inhibit the release of acetylcholine which leads to descending flaccid paralysis. It inhibits the release of acetylcholine at neuromuscular junction, presynaptic area, which causes diplopia, dysarthria, dysphagia, diplopia, and finally decreased deep tendon reflexes and also descending paralysis. So remember, diplopia, dysphagia, Desarthria and descending paralysis with decreased deep tendon reflexes. We can go for Botox, botulinum toxin. Botox or botulinum toxin. Next is a bacterium transferred resistance to another through plasmid. What is the process known as? Another bacteria was attacked by bacteriophage. What is the process known as? They are all gene transfer methods. There are three methods are there transformation transduction conjugation direct uptake of naked dna transformation it is not transformation it is not transformation right and what is the first one the transfer via plasmid transfer of plasmid via pilus is called conjugation so first answer is conjugation where it is there i can choose here and any bacteria attacked by bacteriophage is called transduction. Transduction. So I can go to conjugation and transduction combination. Transposons are extra jumping genes. Translation involved in protein synthesis. It's not replication. Gene transfer process is not replication. Bacteria re replication by binary fission. So the answer is conjugation and transduction. Next is a three year old with rice water stool. Wherever rice water stool, you remember it is cholera, Vibrio cholera. Vibrio cholera agent causing cholera. Profuse watery rice water stool. Vomiting with severe dehydration. We call it as blue death. Which is the first line intervention. See, always remember, whenever you have a cholera case, first 
ఫస్ట్ లైన్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఇమ్మీడియట్ ఈజ్ రీహైడ్రేషన్ 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 బికాస్ ద డెత్ ఈజ్ మెయిన్లీ డ్యూ టు డీహైడ్రేషన్ సో ఫస్ట్ యూ కెన్ డూ ఓరల్ రీహైడ్రేషన్ ఫస్ట్ ఆర్ నాట్ పాసిబుల్ గో ఇన్ఫ్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ రీహైడ్రేషన్ నాట్ ఆల్బిమిన్ నాట్ ఇన్ఫ్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్బిమిన్ ఇఫ్ ద పేషెంట్ ఈస్ కాటోస్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు డ్రింక్ వాటర్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు డ్రింక్ ఓఆర్ఎస్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ గివ్ ఇన్ఫ్యూషన్ ఓకే ఇంట్రావెనస్ ఫ్లూయిడ్స్ నో బ్లడ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫ్యూషన్ డాక్సిజెక్లీన్ ఇస్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ బట్ దట్ ఈస్ సెకండ్ లైన్ థర్డ్ లైన్ ఫస్ట్ యూ నీడ్ టు సేవ్ ద పేషెంట్ గో ఫార్ రీహైడ్రేషన్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇస్ ఏ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ ఇయర్ ఓల్డ్ గర్ల్ ప్రెసెంట్ విత్ ట్రైపాడ్ సైన్ క్లినికలీ అండ్ థమ్ సైన్ ఆన్ ఎక్స్రే ట్రైపాడ్ సైన్ అండ్ థమ్ సైన్ ఇన్ ఎక్స్రే ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎపిగ్లాటిస్ లుక్ లైక్ థమ్ సైన్ ఆన్ ఎక్స్రే ఇట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎపిగ్లాటైటిస్ సీ ద పిక్చర్ ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్ సోలింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఎపిగ్లాటిస్ ఎపిగ్లాటిటిస్ క్లినికల్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ రివీల్ ద పిక్చర్ డయాగ్నోస్ ఆఫ్ మోస్ట్ కామన్ కాస్ మోస్ట్ కామన్ కాస్ ఆఫ్ ఎపిగ్లాటిటిస్ వన్స్ అప్ ఆన్ ఐ టైమ్ హిమోగ్లస్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్సి now it is streptococcus pneumonia if you even if you diagnose epiglottitis automatically you can get the answer streptococcus pneumonia it is not what it is media it is not cervicitis trichomonas nothing it look like strawberry cervix but thumb x-ray thumb sign on x-ray tripod sign it is epiglottitis suggestive of streptococcus pneumonia another agent is haemophilus influenzae 22 year old with cs of picture raised pressure very good raised protein very good raised protein always seen in bacterial and fungal meningitis numerous neutrophils polymorphonucleal cells pus cells reduced glucose most likely where there is raised proteins raised pressure raised neutrophils decreased glucose we can go to streptococcus pneumonia bacterial pyogenic meningitis mycobacterium tuberculosis is also similar increased uh, protein decreased uh, glucose but it has lymphocytes japanese encephalitis herpes simplex these people usually there is no rise in pressure usually protein and glucose are usually normal lymphocytes all other people have lymphocytes polymorphonucleal cells neutrophils you can get it in streptococcus pneumonia any pyogenic meningitis like meningococci uh, haemophilus influenzae many thing next is a 37 year old patient with chronic cough and hemoptysis underwent cbnat what is cbnat cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test classical example is a gene expert gene expert will do two thing dd one is diagnose of tuberculosis and another one is drug resistance for only rifampicin because it did cor pvo b gene diagnosis mtb drug resistant rifampicin this will do both it find mycobacterium tuberculosis yes but not Uh, and also drug resistance also mtb yes mycobacterium tuberculosis not isonia acid rifampicin not pyrazinamide so the answer goes to a direct mtb with rifampicin resistance both only rifampicin resistant not uh, isonia acid other thing and all gene expert next is peripheral blood smear of 40 year old female present with fever chills rigor shown in the image the picture depicts this is rbc it produces typical ring shape or smiley shape trophozoid it produces typical ring shape or smiley shape trophozoid ring shape smiley shape trophozoid okay next is markers for vaccination and high infectivity please remember vaccination you can get only positive for uh, anti hbs 
if it is there it indicate vaccination it indicates vaccination only surface antibody present and infectivity indicated by presence of hepatitis b envelope antigen surface antibody indicates vaccination only envelope antigen indicates high infectivity you should know all the markers not surface antigen not the envelope antibody not core antibody so direct answer one is surface antigen second one is envelope surface antibody slip of the tongue surface antibody and envelope antigen indicates markers of vaccination next is 9 month old infant given to ibuprofen arthralgia to manage a congenital viral infection what is the diagnosis usually it is having congenital rubella syndrome which has important future of patent ductus arteriosus pd patent ductus arteriosus okay congenital viral infection chorea retinitis we can see in uh, cytomegalovirus microcephaly can see in toxoplasma blueberry muffin syndrome we can see in many people rubella and uh, parvovirus cytomegalovirus many thing so congenital rubella syndrome you can get congenital cataract patent ductus arteriosus and uh, another one is bilateral sensory neuronal deafness 11 month old child with torches infection identify torches means toxoplasma rubella cytomegalovirus herpes hepatitis those kind of people with syphilis hiv syphilis and the child you see the head head should be like this this is called microcephaly commonly seen with toxoplasma even cytomegalovirus many people causes microcephaly okay commonly seen in not only these torches you can see in, in zika viral infection also microcephaly 12 year old boy bitten by sand fly develop abdominal distension fever all the following are correct except this is called leishmaniasis see hepatomegaly splenomegaly ascites these are all the features of uh, leishmaniasis so what is the thing not is zoonosis in india yes other countries it's zoonosis dog is the reservoir infective stage is pro mastigot not a mastigot diagnosed by rk39 antigen drug of choice amphotericin b all others are correct infective stage is pro mastigot not a mastigot vector is sand fly phlebotomus a 33 year old g2p2 with curdy white vaginal discharge gram positive budding e cells what else you want curdy white vaginal discharge itself diagnostic and gram positive budding yeast cells it is nothing but vaginal candidiasis because bacterial candidiasis you can get clue cells trichomoniasis strawberry cervix strawberry cervix that's atrophic vaginitis not aerobic vaginitis leave it next is antibodies always having valency of 2 <coughs> valency of 2 commonly seen in igg ige and igd because igm has valency of 10 iga secretory ig has valency of 4 all of us are having valency of 2 igg ig igd all pathogens can grow in blood agar except blood agar is a enriched medium cardiobacterium diphtheria will grow potassium tolerate blood agar pseudomonas aeruginosa grows vibrio cholera grows except trypanoma pallidum it will not grow in artificial culture medium we will maintaining it in rabbit testicular passage rabbit testicular passage 
30 year old patient with rheumatic valvulitis underwent mitral valve replacement she developed post operative endocarditis post operative endocarditis mitral valve replacement prosthetic valve in the replaced valve most common cause of diagnostic criteria this is called prosthetic valve infective endocarditis commonly caused by staph epidermidis less than 1 year more than 1 year step periods because they produces biofilm and we are classifying with duke's criteria duke's criteria not streptococcus pyogenes agalexia okay jones criteria for acute rheumatic fever here duke's criteria infective endocarditis duke's criteria staph epidermidis duke's criteria major criteria minor criteria gold standard test to diagnose leptospira leptos any bacteria usually gold standard is diagnosed by culture but here the gold standard is serology microscopic agglutination test sabin feldman diet test gold standard for toxoplasmosis these are all culture medium for leptospira culture medium for leptospira next is all the following are features of scarlet fever except all the following are features of scarlet fever except scarlet fever caused by group a beta hemolytic streptococcus otherwise called streptococcus pyogenes remember my mnemonic yes 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 sp scarlet fever remember it is caused by streptococcal pyrogenic exotoxin strawberry tongue strawberry tongue and sand pepper rash with pustular lines spe strawberry tongue sand pepper rash pustular lines sunburn rash seen in toxic shock syndrome produced by staphylococcus aureus toxic shock syndrome toxin sunburn rash so all are features of scarlet fever except sunburn rash is the answer hope you all enjoyed the questions thank you